Ancient Assyrian astrologers, astronomers, teach us about solar storms. They were educated. They were working for courts of kings. And they were commissioned to study the skies, surveying solar storms. And the ancient Assyrian astronomers, University of Tsukuba, Science Daily, Daily reports, the researchers find evidence of ancient solar magnetic storms based on their cuneiform records. The astrological records and carbon-14 dating, this work may help with our understanding of intense solar activity that can threaten our modern electronics. A research team led by University of Tsukuba combined observations from ancient cuneiform tablets that mention unusual red skies with radioisotope data to identify solar storms that likely occurred around 700 BC, specifically 679 to 655 BC. This was prior to any previously datable events. And this work may help modern astronomers predict future solar flares or coronal mass ejections that can damage satellite and terrestrial electronic devices. Humans have been looking to the skies for as long as we have been around. Some of the observations made by ancient Assyrian and Babylonian astrologers more than two millennia ago, over 2,000 years ago, survive in the form of these cuneiform records. These rectangular clay tablets were messages from professional scholars to kings who had commissioned the astronomical observations for the purpose of discerning omens, including comets, meteors, and planetary motion. Now, a team led by the University of Tsukuba matched three of these ancient tablets that mention an unusual red glow in the sky with the carbon-14 concentrations in tree rings and demonstrate how they are evidence of solar magnetic storms. These observations were made about 2,700 years ago in Babylon and the Assyrian city of Nineveh, both of which are mentioned contemporaneously in the Bible. For example, one tablet says, red covers the sky. Another mentions a red cloud. These were probably manifestations of what we call today stable aurora red arcs, consisting of light emitted by electrons in atmospheric oxygen atoms after being excited by intense magnetic fields. While we usually think of aurora as confined to northern latitudes, that is, the northern lights, during periods of strong magnetic activity, as with a solar mass ejection, they may be observed much farther south. Moreover, because of the changes in the Earth's magnetic field over time, the Middle East was closer to the geomagnetic pole during this period in history. Quote, although the exact dates of the observations are not known, we were able to narrow the range considerably by knowing when each astrologer was active, end quote. Co-first author Yasuyuki Mitsuma says, and based on the tree ring samples, there was a rapid rise in radioactive carbon-14 in the environment during this time, which is associated with increased solar activity. Quote, these findings allow us to recreate the history of solar activity in century, a century earlier than previously available records, End quote. Mitsuma explained, and he says, the research can assist in our ability to predict future solar magnetic storms, which may damage satellites and other spacecraft. This is on Science Daily. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, 
and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.